Um, okay, uh, just talking about um, it's uh, October. My uh, our second of the youngest child, Amy, baby number five, is uh, going to an international school on the other side of Switzerland, and they have a three day break. And we've said to our kids, two other kids went there. We said, you know, if if there are kids there that don't have anywhere to go and they want to go someplace, you know, they can come to our house. And so Amy showed up yesterday with nine kids. Uh, three from America, one from Poland, the rest are Asian, Chinese, and other things. And it's like, holy cow. Uh, we did extend the invitation. We did mean it. I mean, it was quite a... But uh, when she was calling and arranging for her to be here, uh, she said, can you um, uh, pick me up in the village before where we usually pick up the train? I said, yeah. And she said, are you sure you can do that? I said, well, if you call and remind me, I will. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I told my son, Ian, who had been to the school, and I said, she's getting out a stop before, and he said, oh, my God. He said, she has to film this on her iPhone, uh, which she didn't do. But uh, I got to the train station, and uh, she stepped off the train with her luggage and kind of stood in an inconspicuous spot until she watched the conductor get back on the train, the train doors closed, and then walked into full view of these nine kids and and stood there motioning like, what are you doing on the train? This is our stop. Why didn't you guys? And there you see this whole flurry of activity inside the train. You can see it from outside from the window. And uh, so we get in the car, and she's laughing like crazy, and I'm finding it pretty funny. Uh, so she starts getting texts and phone calls, and then these kids start to realize, wait a minute, the next station is the station that we're supposed to be getting out at anyway. So we drove to the next station. They all got out. Uh, they needed to stop at stores and things. And then the one uh, Asian kid that was in on it uh, was all of a sudden in a panic. He left his backpack on the train. Now, we t went to the post office train station, uh, and said, you know, this is what happened. They said, okay, come back before 6. So Amy and I went back around 3, and they said, we said, come back before 6. And what I didn't realize was they, when these kids went, they knew which train it was on. They tracked its schedule, knew when it would be back, and told us, you know, come then. And so then they get on that train, go to the train car where it was left in, and pick it up, and just before 6, it was back here. Uh, my wife and my other daughter picked it up on the way in coming up the hill, and uh, what I didn't know is they went through the bag, just made sure it was this kid's, and uh, took his wallet. <laughs> so this kid is um, gets his bag, he's going through it, and all of a sudden, and I don't know what's going on. Right? His, you can see his stomach just fall through the bottom of him. He's like, oh my God. He said, my wallet's not here. And I said, come on, this is Switzerland, brother. Of course your wallet's there. And he's going through and getting more frantic and faster. And, you know, the other kids are going, well, calm down. We'll just go through and take everything out. He said, it's not here. And Mia, my oldest daughter, came out in the foyer and she said, does it look something like this? <laughs> this poor kid didn't know whether to find this funny or not. We, of course, did. We, we thought it was a real scream. But, uh, yeah, he finally did get laughing. And today I said to him, you know, something about his wallet. And he's finding the humor in it. But... Uh, I'm a family of practical jokers, I guess. Uh, we like to laugh uh, with or at people, I guess. www.micpeakperformance.com. Have a fun day.